Hey, what's up everyone? Personal Trainer Megan here. Today in my video I'm going to be comparing two workouts. One from the Nike Training Club app and the second one from the Adidas Training app. I'm going to complete both workouts, tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, see how I like the app in general. Um, I've never used either of these apps before, so this is a first time for me. Um, my first workout is going to be an upper body express, so we're going to be hitting some back, shoulders, and buys and, uh, from the Nike app, and then we're going to do some abs and core from the Adidas app. All right, let's get to it. workouts but I wanted to show you what the Nike Training Club app looked like first. Um, love the way this app is set up. It is very easy to use. Um, you have your first tab here which is the for you so you have like your beginner and your intermediate top picks. You also have new workouts here. Um, from what I was reading online it sounds like it's not updated as often as other fitness apps. I do know that the Peloton app I think updates their new workouts daily, which could be overwhelming for some people, but um, new workouts are added here. And then they have like different types of collections, which I think are interesting. So you have your cross training, you have um, like dynamic warm up, you have yoga flow, and then you have one catered for uh, your cycle. So where you are in your menstrual cycle for females. I think that's really, you know, it's really catered to many different people and what they like. Uh, then you have under the brows, you have your muscle groups, and that's categorized into abs and core, arms and shoulders, glutes and legs. And I think each of these workouts are, yeah, they're pretty like fast. Like there's nothing over really 30 minutes that I have seen so far. So it's great if you're short on time. Um, again, you have workout focus, so you can focus on endurance, mobility, strength, or yoga. And then also the type of equipment. So if you have a full gym or just a basic equipment or no equipment at all, you can choose from there. Um, very, very great setup. Um, and then they also have plans. Um, so this is something I actually find interesting because... I like how they have things that are like either four to eight weeks just because with these type of apps I do find if you're just doing one workout or just doing random workouts then you're not really adding that progressive overload and you may plateau faster so I mean if it's great if you're just like short on time one get your body moving pick a random workout great but if you want to be consistent with something I would definitely recommend uh, picking one of these uh, plans that they have here I haven't looked too much into it but it does seem like they have some eight week stuff here, which is awesome. The Adidas app also has plans that you can do. Um, not all of them are free. So the ones uh, with the free plan are free, but it looks like this 12 week body transformation one you will have to pay money for. So really depends on what your goals are and uh, how you wanna use the app for your fitness lifestyle. 
So overall, I liked using the Nike Training Club app more. I loved how user-friendly it was. I loved all the different options for um, different type of workouts, like the flexibility, the endurance, the yoga. It really caters to different people. Um, and everything on the Nike Training Club app is free. They have no premium content. Whereas with the Adidas app, you do have to pay for some things. But, um, so yeah, I could definitely see myself using the Nike app in the future, especially it's good if you don't feel like going to the gym or the weather's bad and you need to do something at home. Um, and also, I'm sure it was really great for a lot of people in quarantine. I actually didn't know about this during the time until I made this video. Um, so I would definitely keep it and use it for, for workouts at home. Um, again, the thing about these fitness apps is I would just focus on progressively overloading your workouts. Um, these, by doing these like little workouts, you do, you will like feel progress and see progress, but you may plateau. So I would just keep that in mind, uh, and what your fitness goals are. So if you want to do something because you're short on time, then totally do something from this app. But I would also recommend following like a consistent plan if you can. Um, so let me know in the comments what, if you've used these, these apps before and what you think, and I hope you learned something from what I showed you and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.